Okay, hey friends. It has been a while since we have done a live, has it not? Um, things have just been going crazy. And um, Jamie and I have been wrapping up a cabinet job, and so when I do, whenever I have a, a decorative painting job, it's hard for me to switch gears into painting fine art, if that makes sense. Um, and all the things that go with that, and then coming here is hard, just time-wise, because I'm also a mom, and my kids have had swim lessons uh, for the month of April, which I shared a post for that earlier, but um, golly, that really did a number on me this month. It's just those two days a week, right after school, flying down to make the lesson on time, and then it's just chaos from there. And then I load them up, get in the car, come home, do dinner, after dinner we do, homework, get ready for bed, blah, blah, blah. It's just crazy time here. So, um, but I found it interesting. I did a post, was it last week, with a paint palette that I'm working with right now on a lot of my art. And I went this morning to go get some paint and I thought I would share kind of my method there for how I pick those colors and why I use the types of paints I use. Because I know I share a lot of uh, other videos and pictures with all different kinds of paints and I get asked questions about the paints I use and why I use those paints and why I don't use other certain types of paints and so I thought I would just go into detail a little bit more here in this live so if you're new here my name is Melissa Lewis with Melissa Lewis Art and I would love for you, if you stop by, share your name in the comments so I can say hi. I love to say hi to people, love to meet new people. Um, if you're here for the replay, leave your name as well and share where you're from too because that always makes it more interesting. Um, also let me know, are you um, a creative? Are you an artist? Do you use paints? You know, how does this help you? So. I would love to know a little bit more information about you and why you're here. So yeah, if you can do that and then share this also on your timeline if you find this useful. Um, and also if you feel like somebody else would maybe benefit from this if you share it on your timeline. It just helps other people who don't follow my page um, see more information about this. And that would just be great if you could do that and then comment that you shared so I can thank you for that. Um, so yeah, let me get this. I'm in my studio. My studio is a wreck right now. Um, I just base coated all of my canvases that you can see. Let's do a little 360. You can see I'm kind of on the floor. Ooh, that make you dizzy? All around me. And as you know, I share a studio with my boys. So I get one little corner of this room and they get the rest, which is why I have toys scattered all around my feet. Um, but you, you do with what you what you got, right? And I'm not about to not paint because I don't have room. So, okay, I shared this the other day. Hopefully you can see it. Um, don't get a whole lot of light in this room, so I'm trying to make it work for you. Um, and when I used this, I only had a little bit of the paints when I mixed up these colors, and I didn't know what colors I was gonna use, and I used colors that I only had just a little bit of. So I had to go to the paint store this morning, and, um, get some more of those colors. But let me show you a little bit of how I mix those up. Uh, I think you've seen before my little blue cart, a lot of artists have these, a lot of creatives have these, um, crafters, whatever, it doesn't matter because they're great for just organizing your stuff. But th down there are my little um, hobby craft paints that you can get from anywhere, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. Um, so I took those to start with just to kind of get a starting point of the colors I wanted to use. And I ended up using um, a coral. And well, you can see the palette I used. And I have, let's see here. This is my little cheapy little palette that you can get from Michaels. I use this a lot when I letter um, with watercolors and um, water-based paints just because it's small and it's lightweight and it's easy to use. Um, I am not seeing any comments and so Lord help me, I hope this isn't another one of those videos where you're here and I can't talk back to you. Um, 
if you are seeing this and you're commenting and I can't see your comment, will you leave me a little emoji, like a um, fist bump emoji and let me know. And then that way I'll know that I'm not able to see these comments. I want to be able to talk to you. And this has happened before where comments just don't pop up for some reason. So anyways, I hate to end this one and start another, a whole other live if, if it is working and it's just not necessary. So anyways, I took these colors and put them in here. Now the blue, I was really wanting like less of a turquoise and more of a darker teal. Um, and I just wasn't getting that with the blue that I had on hand. So um, I went from using my little hobby paints and reached out here to my, um, this is all just my, I guess, artist level. I've got Liquitex and Artist Loft, um, Martha Stewart. And so I used a blue that I had and grabbed my gray. This is one of my favorite grays, I love it. Um, so I added that, you can see here, two, can you see the two different blues? This one was a little light, so I added, there we go, that line's a little bit better. So I added some gray and got this blue right here. And because I did that, I went ahead and added gray in my other colors as well, my coral and my green, to make all the colors a little bit more cohesive. Um, a lot of times when you're using just different colors, if you add a little bit of one color in each one, it kind of ties them all together. So I added some grays in those colors as well. So when I did that, I came up with my color palette that I absolutely loved and was obsessed with. But you can see, I was out of my paints, right? I just used these to kind of come up with the colors, but then I wouldn't have enough left to do a series of paintings. So instead of going to Michael's or the, okay, I can see comments. Hi, Shirley. Um, hi from California. Oh, Lord, I bet your weather is wonderful. Um, actually, we've got sunshine now. It was a little gray this morning, so I've got a little bit of light coming in here, but I bet your weather is gorgeous where you are. So I um, grabbed my paint palette this morning and went to the paint store. Now, I did not go to Michael's. I didn't go to Hobby Lobby. didn't go to Walmart. I went to Lowe's. And let me um, show you what I did. We'll go back over here now. And normally, I think this just comes from my world of decorative painting and doing cabinet finishes and wall finishes, is I like to have paints mixed up in the colors I want rather than um, spending the time just mixing and mixing and mixing like I did other earlier to make this palette. I wanted to have it just right there in front of me, easy to grab. Um, so I went to Lowe's and looked through all their chips. Now I could have had them mix up these colors for me custom. We do that a lot when we're doing um, decorative finishing, but I'm gonna be honest with you, nothing against Lowe's or Home Depot. I obviously shop there a lot. And nothing against if anybody <laughs> here works there in the paint department. But to my knowledge, those people aren't professionally trained in paint. And so they can't quite give you the best answers. Um, so when I'm having paint mixed to a custom color, I go to Benjamin Moore, just to be honest, because they are trained and they're just fabulous, in my opinion, when it comes to that. So because I just wanted to go to Lowe's and grab some samples to make sure I liked these colors, I just looked through all of their paint chips until I found ones that matched my palette. Um, let's see here. So I found a good coral that I liked and it matched it fairly well. I was out of my pink, so I found a pink that matched green. And then I found this beautiful, beautiful um, teal color. I absolutely love it and matched it to that. So that's how I got my paint colors for this palette. Now, um, I particularly, when I'm getting samples, I like to have this kind. And the reason why is it's kind of funny, not specifically because of the paint itself, but just because of the packaging. 
because I like to, as you can see, I've got this color on the lid and I have everything kind of laid out. It's a little messy right now because I just finished a painting yesterday. So um, bear with me there. But I like to dip my finger in the paint and then come back and rub it on the lid so that I can just quickly and easily see what colors I want to use. Um, here's one that I haven't put one on and you can see when I've got paint surrounding it, I can't see so I've got to lift it up. And that just takes more time. And then also I've knocked some of these off before where the lids weren't on because I was painting quickly. And then you go when you get paint on the floor like I've done here. So that's a little tip for you. If you have your paints laying out somewhere on a table flat like this, to just dip your finger or use a brush if you don't want to get your hands dirty. But if you're a painter, you probably do. So just dip it in there and then rub it on the lid. And you can... Um, quickly see just it's just easier visually to find the colors that you need um, and so but she gave me these and I don't have anything against um, this type of sample it's just the lids blue and it's just not cohesive it bugs me but I'm crazy like that so so yeah that's why I like to use this type of paint and have it mixed um, to where I can just have a big quart of it, a big bucket of it on hand, as opposed to when I'm working a painting and I have to then go on the fly and mix my colors and see if they work. It just takes more time that way and I like to have it all laid out ahead of me. Now I will tell you, um, this is the palette that I used yesterday when I was working. Let's see if I can get this open with one hand. And um, if you don't have one of these, you're missing out because it's not easy to do with one hand, but here's why. It comes with this lid that seals it in. And now I can use this paint again today. And this is from yesterday. So it keeps it, um, it keeps the, uh, the moisture in and the paint doesn't dry out and I can use it a day later. Now it doesn't last like a whole week, but it will give me a good two to three days where I can come back and use it. Um, you get a, I think it's called wet paper that you put on the bottom of this and it helps kind of seal that moisture in. And then when I'm done painting for the day and I know I want to use it tomorrow, I'll take just a spray bottle of water and spray on my paints and then I'll put the lid on and it will last me a good few days. So if you don't have one of these, um, I actually have over on my website, I've got a post about my favorite must have tools and it's on there. Um, I can, I'll leave it in the comments if you want to go check those out, but uh, it links it directly to this. It's not expensive. Um, and it's just super, super easy. It's, it's big, but I can still hold it while I'm working and dip a brush in it. Um, so it's not too big. I really like it. Okay. So going back to the point of having my colors pre-mixed, I don't, like I said, I don't like to mix a color while I'm working, but I do, obviously I have my whites and grays and, um, my neutrals. I'll mix those in and make colors, you know, um, but I like to have my main paint palette already there. And a lot of times those colors are just custom. And so it's easier for me to go to a paint store and have those pre-made. And that's why I use those paints. A lot of professional artists who have been trained professionally at school, gone to art school, they will only use professional artist grade paint like, like this here. Um, I don't discriminate. I use those. I love those, but I can use these and these work just as well. And, um, are, they're just they're more efficient for me. So that's why I use those. And then I'm, I honestly just use a mix. Um, like I said, I use this gray a lot. I use this blue a lot. Um, so yeah, I just use what I have on hand, but I also know what works for me and I will do what I can to make it faster and easier and just more efficient because we all know time is valuable. And when I don't get a lot of time in the studio, I don't want to spend what I do have just trying to come up with different colors and guessing and maybe they won't work and then it's just a waste of time. I like to be prepared. So that is my method for how I come up with a palette and of colors and why I use the paints I use, which is really just any kind of paints. Um, but that's why I like to have them pre-mixed. If that helps you, um, let me know if that's something that you've already done. 
let me know in the comments. If that's new to you, um, let me know that too. I like to know if I'm just, you know, if I'm throwing stuff out there that you don't need, I don't want to bug you. But um, if it's helpful information, I want to keep giving you this type of stuff. So um, again, if you would, I would love it if you would, if you're watching this, um, please share this video. You can keep it on your timeline so that you can come back to it later um, if there's something that you need to remember. You can also share it just to help other people who don't follow my page see uh, this video as well and maybe it'll help them. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if this helped you, just let me know. And be sure, even if you're watching the replay, leave your name and let me know where you're from because I like to say hi and know who's watching. And I hope to be back with another live video very soon. So watch out for that and make sure you join me. Um, another thing, hey, if you don't mind, in the comments, leave the time of day that works best for you when you're watching um, these videos. Is the afternoon better or is nighttime better um, on the weekdays? Weekends, I don't do a lot of lives just because my family is doing stuff. So on the weekdays, what works better for you? Like a lunchtime live or an evening live, like after dinner? Um, because I want you to be able to watch it live so that we can chat back and forth. Shirley, thank you so much for sharing this video. I appreciate it. Um, and I hope you can come back for my next live. So yeah, anyways, guys, have a great Tuesday and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, guys. Bye.